Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our latest and newest version of the Edge web browser for desktop rolling out, Edge version 112, which Microsoft started rolling out on the 6th of April, once again late yesterday in my region. Now, um, when it comes to a browser update, um, it seems that Edge is following in suit with uh, the Google Chrome web browser. And there's not really too many front-facing features uh, with this latest release of Edge version 112. And really at its heart and core, um, just like Google Chrome um, version 112, which also rolled out earlier this week, um, it's really a major security update to the browser with a couple of um, other um, so-called features and um, that we'll have a look at shortly. Now, um, uh, to double check at first if you have the update we uh, as always just head to the menu help and feedback about microsoft edge and uh, this will force the update uh, to the latest version uh, if it hasn't done so already which is version 112.0.1722.34 and uh, um, when it comes to security updates uh, we more or less get the same uh, security fixes that rolled out to the Google Chrome web browser earlier this week because Chrome is based on the open source Chromium project as many of you know and uh, the security fix uh, includes the security fixes include 16 um, fixes that address 16 security flaws uh, in the browser and with Microsoft Edge though um, two of those are edge specific so they are security fixes for the actual edge browser and not the Chromium platform so 16 security fixes, two of those are edge specific. Now, um, there are no security um, exploits that have been exploited in the wild. So there are no zero days. But nonetheless, um, as I have mentioned um, with Google Chrome, uh, there are two high risk vulnerabilities, which um, is your second highest ranked security vulnerability after a critical. So nonetheless, uh, important to double check your browsers up to date, as I always do mention. It is your first line of defense to the online world. Now, um, when it comes to so-called new features, as mentioned, uh, it's a little bit thin on the ground. But just to go through these for the purpose of the video, just to keep you updated and in the loop. Now, the first uh, is um, regarding improvements to enhanced security modes. So if we head to uh, Privacy Search and Services and we scroll down to where we get that feature, uh, Enhance Your Security on the Web, um, it says turn on this mode to browse the web more securely and help protect your browser from malware and um, you can toggle this on and off so basically it's an optional feature but um, the so-called uh, improvements to enhanced security mode um, for this update in version 112 is that uh, it now supports WebAssembly for ARM64 and uh, um, it also supports cross has support for cross-platform across 64-bit versions of Windows Mac OS, Linux, and ARM64 systems, where previously that was not the case. So basically, enhanced security mode is rolling out to more and different platforms, where, as mentioned previously, that was not the case. Now, when it comes to uh, the next one, um, the next so-called new feature, there is a new in-browser JSON, J-S-O-N. So that's a viewer. And if you don't know what that is, um, just a quick overview of JSON is that it stands for um, JavaScript object notation and is an open standard file format and data interchange format that uses human readable text to store and transmit data objects consisting of attribute value pairs and arrays and um, according to the description online it is a common data format with diverse uses in electronic data interchange including that of web applications with a uh, server so this is mainly um uh, rolling out for rt admins and developers with edge version 112 um, but nonetheless, um, the viewer, the JSON viewer now includes uh, several improvements like a color coded three view with line numbers and the ability to collapse and expand the data and JSON files are opened automatically in the viewer when you do view them if they are accessed on web pages or when local JSON files are opened. So that's more or less what's going on with that. And this is on a controlled rollout. And uh, um, if you would like to enable the feature, uh, you can always just head up to uh, the address bar, enter edge colon forward slash forward slash flags. And you can enable the experimental flag before it does roll out as a default feature, which says allows users to view JSON files in a formatted view directly in the browser. So 
as mentioned, that's basically the second of a couple of new features rolling out, mainly geared towards RT admins and the like. Now, when it comes to uh, the three main, the, the three uh, remaining new features, and um, these are really regarding policies, uh, new policies, and they've rolled out updates to the new tab page policy, which um, uh, is uh, the new tab page hard default top sites hards default top sites when enabled, and then. Um, there's also a web app install force list, which is also a new policy for Edge version 112. And then the third policy is actually one I did post on a while back. It's regarding the new crypto wallet. And uh, that's the um, Microsoft Edge's crypto wallet feature. And the policy is called crypto wallet enabled. And I'll actually leave a video to um, that video. I did, sorry, I'll leave a link to that video I did post previously in the description regarding um, the actual uh, crypto wallet coming to Microsoft Edge in the future. And uh, that's really um, the new features, as mentioned. Uh, the first is that one, that, that new update to the enhanced security mode. Then we get the uh, enhancements and improvements to the JSON viewer. And then those final three are those new policies. So that's more or less what's new in Edge version 112. As mentioned, mainly a security update and has started rolling out on the 6th of April. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.